Hey you guys, it's me Laura with Scraps of Encouragement and today I am here with you to show you a really fun rainbow colored card. Now this basic card design you can use for so many things but I love the idea of having a simple white card with rainbow colored elements. And for today's card I'm going to be using the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set as well as the coordinating punch but you can really use any flowers, stamps, really just about anything for this type of layout and design. Um, really the sky's the limit. So let's go ahead and get started. To make my flowers, I'm gonna be using some pattern paper as well as some enamel elements to go in the middle. So you can see here, when they're done, they're kind of 3D. I am punching out each of my flowers to be a different color. Now to help with color coordination here, I just had a pack of the In Color um, 6x6 Designer Series paper from Stampin' Up! So it all came together and I knew the co colors would coordinate well. You can do that with most pattern paper collections. Usually the colors will coordinate really well. So if you use just different patterns and designs, you can be pretty sure they're gonna go well together. To make my flowers kind of pop up the way I did, I'm gonna be using my Take a Pick tool from Stampin' Up! and I'm gonna be using the stylus insert for my, my tool there. I'm using the bigger ball on the stylus and I'm just gonna go in the center of my flowers and take my stylus. I have these flowers on my mat that goes with my Stamparatus. You can use any kind of squishy mat or foam, anything, just something that has a little bit of give to it. And I'm just doing little circles around the center of my flowers to kind of help them to pop up a little bit. Then where I have that flat part still in the center, I'm going to take these enamel dots and put them in. Now this is an enamel dot pack from Stampin' Up! that's also the current in colors. And so they coordinate with my pattern paper that I have here. So I'm just going to be really careful to make sure that I don't end up with one flower that has the same color paper and dot on the middle. You can also use for this, you can use gemstones, rhinestones, you can use white pearl accents and color them with alcohol markers to make them any color. You can use sequins, you can really kind of go creative there. Next I'm going to pull my stitched rectangle panel that I have and I'm going to play with the placement of my flowers. You can definitely line these up straight. I'm using mine in just a little bit of a zigzag pattern because I want them to all be a little bit of different lengths. If you're using stamps, you can stamp and kind of line up and see where your stamps will end up going. And I am going to be using my pear pizzazz to stamp the stems here. So I've lined them up to give me an idea of where I need the stems to go. So then I just move the flowers out of the way and stamp the stems. And one thing that's really cool about photopolymer is if you want a straight stem or you want a stem that goes a different direction or has a little bit of a different look to it, you can definitely bend that to be however you want. And here I have a stem that didn't quite go to the bottom, so I'm just gonna take my Stamper Right marker and extend that stem just a little bit. And you never ever know. While those flowers are still there, before I glue them down, I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put my leaves for these. So I'm just kinda of moving those flowers around and stamping them where I think makes the most sense. Before I glue my flowers down and kind of commit to this panel, I do wanna go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So I'm using a sentiment from my Free as a Bird stamp set. It says, the world needs more of you. I'm just using my Tuxedo Black Memento ink and I'm stamping that off up in the corner. And then it's time to glue all my little flowers down. Now I'm just putting glue on that center part that is flat and that is where it's going to adhere to my card. Now it's time for the inside of my card. So I'm just gonna take a panel that's four inches by five and a quarter inches, and I am just stamping a simple flower on the edge of this panel. You can make this whatever color you want. If you wanted to do a kissing technique, you can end up with a little bit of pattern on your flower, but I'm just going for really simple. Then I'm gonna mount this on a piece of Seaside Spray cardstock that's just one eighth of an inch larger. Now for the outside of my card, I have cut a panel that's the size of an A2 card to go on the front of my card. I'm using the Seaside Spray color from my 6x6 paper pack. And then I'm just gonna grab my card panel and because I already have so much dimension with the flowers themselves, I'm just gonna glue this directly onto the card panel. 
Then I'm going to add my inside to my card. And that is it for this card. It's really nice and simple. And again, you can use this technique with so many different dies or card designs. Here's another simple design that I did. I used a white pearl for the center of the flower and instead of using patterned paper for the background, I put a layer of green paper that matched my stems behind the flowers and I did a very similar inside to this card. I love the way these rainbow colors work on plain white patterns. You can do this with so many different color schemes, so many different stamps, dyes, whatever you have. I would love to see the ideas that you come up with. Be sure to check out my blog, scrapsofencouragement.com, where I'll list all the products that I used in today's video. And as always, I hope you find joy in creating as you spread kindness and encouragement with your scraps of paper. I'll talk to you later. Bye.